92. It was exactly 92 because I watched Sean Bed do it. But it was like a hair heavier than Sheik, but then like had Captain Falcon's gravity. So you could like hit him with like Mars Blade Force Match at 160 and he would just not go anywhere. It felt really bad. He was a really cool character. Speaking he's, of he's uh, so Knuckles, cool. Sonic. Uh, I'm really scared of Sonic. I don't want some. I don't want anybody to get good at this character because this character could be really dumb. Yeah, there's definitely some characters I wish like we just could take out of the game and not care about. Of which Sonic is one. Yeah. All right, wait. Who are the characters? It's like Sonic, Squirtle, Snake, Ice Climber, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Um. I know people say Game Watch. That there's definitely five characters that take out before Game Watch. Uh, I think you can fix Game Watch way easier than just removing him. I, I think Game Watch. Uh, is not as problematic as people say. And this is coming from the point of view of the guy who lost at LZ. Like, I don't know, people people complain about Game Watch. He's dumb, so like, you kind of need dumb in your game. There's like a specific level of dumb that you want, and Game & Watch is really janky. He's a little over that line, but not much. He, he, he's a little over the line, but yeah, not not by much. Like, I don't know. Fun there, fact. There, there's, a, there's like a bunch of people who are saltier about me losing to LZ than I am. It's I'm just, saltier. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I don't know. For you people that don't know this, Game Watch is the least changed character since PM 1.0. <laughs> okay. He has less changes than Mark. I want you to think about that. What? Yeah, really? yeah. That's... Brawl Game & Watch, good character. Well, I mean, PM 1.0 Game & Watch definitely wasn't Brawl Game & Watch. I, like, I, I've still played 1.0 like for my fair share of times. Actually, speaking of which, uh, 1.0 was the uh, game I technically started PM off of. Because I started playing Smash in like 2011, 2012, and that was when 1.0 was a thing. And like, you know, I randomly found like the PM channel where they had like the old 1.0 vids, which are still on the channel. There's unlisted. Uh, oh yeah. Or, there's like old like vids of like Fly Amanita playing like janky ass like ice climbers and stuff. Oh like yeah, that. back when he was on the dev team. Uh yeah, there's like there's like 1.0 vids and like and like beta 2.0 vids that are just kind of like were on the channel before the dev team started being a lot more you know serious about the game. This is pretty sick. I, I didn't expect this to be this close, actually. Uh, Soul Hero's pretty good from what I know. Um, I think he's gotten really close to making a few upsets. Like, I'm pretty, like, I think he messed up and he should have beaten H-Box at, um, at Smash and Splash. It was 2-1 and I heard that he, he flubbed. Whoa! Oh, that was sick. Yeah, it was almost really good. I yeah. think the last time I put Soul Wrath was Lotus City 3 last year. And I would put him right on the cusp between Tier 2 and Tier 3. Like right, right, right on that line. Oh, that was disgusting. You know, I thought more about it, and I thought about like the top five PM players at the moment, and like my list would be like, like prop maybe in order. It would be like June, LZ, Flip, Prof, and then me. And the list is like, is like, is like Junebug, and then like Jank character, Jank character, Jank character, me, and it just feels really bad. I mean, it depends how much you hate Toon Link. <laughs> well, I don't play Toon Link. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm a Roy man. Let's be real here. I played effectively like a game or two of Toon Link in SNS Top 8, and I think I lost both of those, and I, the only games I won were with Roy. Dude, like, as, mu as much as like I don't like Ice Climbers, I actually really liked watching Fresh get second place in Cali. Third, yeah. I liked, oh, was uh, it third? Yeah. Uh, okay. Watching Fresh, uh, definitely, like, it's PM Ice Climbers definitely, you know, is its own tier of PM jank, but it definitely was a bit more uh, viewer-friendly than some other characters. Dude, it was definitely, like, no, I think it was more about his player. And I, I told him this in, like, a stream. I was like, because every time he would, just, he would just get, like, shit on, like, zero to death, and he would just laugh the entire time and then just do it right back. And I was like, man, I wish I could be that way. I was kind of like that at SNS. There's a Giphy Cat of uh, Soth like zero to death me in like five seconds, and you could see me in the player cam like laughing, me like, okay. You yeah, you guys look like you'd be pretty good friends if he like lived anywhere remotely close to here. Yeah, Soth actually messaged me on Facebook afterwards. He was like, yo, I wish we could play again. That's my favorite set. And I was like, where do you live? He was like, not near you. I was like, okay. Where is he from? He's from the Midwest somewhere. Uh, it's on my phone. I forget. Uh, somewhere Midwest. Either way, uh, Soth was super cool uh, the entire time. Like, Soth SD'd in uh, one of our games, and it like, and it kind of determined part of the set, and he was still like, a homie about it. Although, admittedly, at the same time, I killed myself at 10. So. You're Roy. You died 10 anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe he made that. Holy shit. Tethers are, tethers are crazy, man. Dude, tethers are busted. Ooh. Pooch 2015. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's definitely what Pooch would say. Yeah, I'm like, dude, if you think tethers are so bad, why don't you use, like, Samus' perfectly fine up B? Oh, almost killed off that. I guess we really haven't been paying much attention to the match, and this is this is pretty good. Well, we're watching it. If something good happens. Yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah we're, we're, we're like watching it. There, there was like the occasional like pixel and stuff like that. 
But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really hard to pin Sonic. Um, I think I'm sure is actually decently equipped for this matchup in terms of like keeping people out. Basically, to beat Sonic, you need uh, preferably some way to edge guard him and uh, some sort of lingering neutral option, so that way you'd, uh, Sonic can't just like spin all over you. Ivysaur's side B is pretty helpful for that because if Sonic runs in, uh, he either A, gets hit by the Razor Leaf and gets comboed, or has the shield, which is one way to prevent him from moving. So. Yeah, the main thing about Sonic is like you have to take advantage of the fact that he has kind of a hard time getting in, even though he's like retarded like that, spin dash is stupid. Yeah. But then like Ivysaur, that's like her main game plan in the first place. Oh, that's uh, disgusting. That, yeah, it was... I really want to watch Mach double dip someone. Were you up air into up air? It looked so like, look like Falco. Might have done that to me. I'm not sure. I think. I think if you're gonna do it, it's gonna be at uh, this stage because of the high platform on the side. It's perfect for it. All right, Mock bringing this game back. Not, not too much to say about it. I don't know. Uh, oh, <laughs> Randy forward smash. Hey, what's up? This is, yeah, this is pretty academic play. Yeah. You don't love me. I hey, Pooch, me. I love memes. You Pooch, don't like I hate memes. you, and I would. I would emulate you if I could. You can. Alright. Pooch is currently in, is trying to get me to emulate him. Ivysaur just bounced off Sonic's up the and then up air back chat. to the Let's ground to land. One, can't see it. Uh, that, was, that was pretty funny. I think Ivysaur actually might be one of the few combo weights that doesn't get up there or down aired by Sonic, which is incredibly important to the matchup. Because uh, there are some characters that Sonic grabs and you just kind of hoses them really badly. Is it me or is Ivysaur's combo weight really bad? No, she's really good at resetting his up air. Uh, you hit Ivysaur a bunch and then like you can get like a pretty good chunk of percent versus her, but uh, she's kind of got zero suit syndrome where she just has an incredibly good landing option that you have to super respect. Maybe it's character bias. I always felt like every time I touch her, she explodes. Uh, it's if Ivysaur is getting comboed, uh, she could just kind of mash jump and then up air to safety because she can drift during up air, has a good auto cancel window and in meteors, so people have to respect it. So, uh, so it has all the same issues as dive kick night. That's what you're really saying. Effectively, it's just, it's it's like a almost uh, as extreme landing version as Meta Knight's dive kick, except she just doesn't have multiple jumps. Yeah, Ivysaur's combo weight is like oh I don't know. All right, that was hey, quick two doing? two stocks. Yeah. I don't know. Every time it's just like I hit Pit or Ivysaur, and it's like oh I can do anything now. Pit is more understandable because he doesn't have a way to reset when he's in the air. Ivysaur can reset to the hey, hey, really hey. easily. Pit can side B. He can fly out. It sometimes works, actually. But really? I, I was being uh, if, if there's platforms, he can sometimes side B and instantly land on those and then shield. It's uh, it's not it's not perfect, but you know, it's better than nothing. Three, Pit's flight is pretty two, underrated. One, uh, Pit is a little underrated. He's still like low tier, but he has some matchups that are workable because he, he still has the toolkit to deal with floaties. So. It's one of those things where it's not worth playing him because you can put the time into another character, but there are also characters in this game that are developed such so. Like, Roy's a pretty good example of a character where it's like, he can do things, but if you're going to put time into him, you should probably just put it into somebody else. Are you rooting for either player in this set, by the way? Um, I think Soul Harath, maybe because of upset, but at the same time, also Mach because he fucks on it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at, actually. Yeah. Uh, I think I think smash, yeah. I think it's uh, pretty agreed upon that most people like to see the upsets, but sometimes like you basically you want to see the upset and then you don't want that player to go any further because sometimes that could just look really dumb. The high the high up was a pretty good choice there. Oh, well, we're not playing pretty careful. Oh, he's actually pretty judicious about his use of spin dash in neutral. It's actually pretty nice to watch. Yeah, most Sonics just kind of spam side B a bunch, and if the uh, opponent doesn't really have a way to deal with it, it's uh, it's going to be the game, like the entire game. Yeah. Probably, probably should describe the edge there. Back here, back here looks like it reaches slightly below the ledge. It's safe enough. I, it does, but I don't know if that one would have placed. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, oh my god, he, he, he tried to do the up air and he got the brawl platform cancel and landed on the platform instead of up airing. It's really dumb. Yeah, I mean, I just was looking pretty good. Oh, that use of that, side that was that really was, creative. That was deep like cheap. I think the side B use is what's important there, because like usually using side B off stage is risky because uh, you're stuck in the animation unless you like reel in like he did. Yeah. Dude, I don't know about you, but like the fact that Texas is good players kind of hasn't showed up in three months. I think we're all gonna get popped this weekend. Uh, yeah, I don't think Texas is gonna do that well. 
the nooch. Uh, pooch popping off at the nooch. The pooch nooch. The pooch and the nooch. God, that sounds sexual. I mean, <laughs> nooches aren't sexual. They're just neutral airs. Oh, okay. Have you ever seen the the parody of the Smash Bros. documentary? Thank God, no. It's fucking amazing. You'd love it. You'd actually love it. Like, I saw a Jim Jam Flim Flam knock out somebody out of tournament. You should watch the Jim Jam Flim Flam uh, Smash documentary. It's where the term nooch comes from. The humor is so dumb that I think you might like it. Uh, maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, this is... That was, uh... And he's, he's gone. That was a gorgeous back air. Yeah. Uh, Any of you who are as the Smash the commentator Twitter would say, nice back air. Yeah, so, okay, so if anybody playing the drinking game right now, that's three drinks on me. <laughs> that was just worth it. Yeah, okay, Mach, uh, Mach has Solo Beam charged up, uh, doesn't have any percent to heal off. I mean, it's, it's comeback possible, although uh, one thing I would say from playing Soak this weekend is that Soak definitely has a better aggression than Mach. Uh, Mach, I don't think Mach's the greatest at comebacks, per se. Uh, he's kind of like Hugo, where he just misses his charge shots a lot, except he does miss that with Solar Beam. Soak, when he touches you, you explode. Mach is uh, a lot better. Dude, his at... aggression was so good to watch. Yeah, that, that, that's so like good. the one main thing, the difference between like uh, him and Mach is like, Mach's pretty good at holding a lead and playing safe, but like, the, oh, oh. <gasps> Dude, who else just clenched? <laughs> my my mouth clenched. My buttonhole in my mouth, and they all just they all just they just puckered. Oh, I'm kind of curious to see how how Mach does this weekend in general, considering he didn't have the hottest run at uh, oh never mind. Super Mach, Wars. Uh, Mach got like fifth last left here, so he did pretty good. Uh, maybe he can continue the legend this time around. Anyways, uh, I was wrong about that. Mach actually hitting a solar beam. Yeah, uh, it definitely just did 40 to death, and it was gorgeous. Uh, you think he's got it? The randiest forward smash. This is, he's, I don't think he has a jump. Oh my god. Get him, Corey. Never, never mind about what I said. Uh, apparently, Mach can make a comeback. This is looking pretty close. Dude, that face when Ivysaur whips you in the corner. I'm uh, so surprised that uh, the, the up didn't kill. Oh uh, man, if he had a solar beam, that was it. What? What did what? we do? What? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Dev team. Dev team. Oh, wait. We're the dev team. I'll fix it. I'll, fi I'll call fix it Felix. Well, no, what actually happened there? Uh, reverse up hit. Dude, Pooch, what? what? So Mucky the legend. <laughs> Mucky we don't know. Do you know what happened there? Uh, he he uh, did up and got the reverse That hit. missed by like a full Bowser length. <laughs> so. All right, oh. let's do the replay. Wait, okay, yeah. yeah so Can we right say how much that was not even close? That's not even close. Okay, uh, it's hard for me to explain without being able to do it 